It's finally happening. It's finally happening. <laughs> hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. The time is upon us once again, folks. Can you smell it in the air? That is the smell of a Unity port update, with an emphasis on the music and sounds. When I read this for the first time, I had to do a little double take, because I wasn't... I didn't want to get my hopes up, just in case I misread it, but... <laughs> rest assured... Oh, it's good. This is no mirage. There are two main external composers that are working on a new, official Realm of the Mad God soundtrack. These guys have already put together six brand new musical themes for the game that we can check out on the official Realm of the Mad God YouTube channel. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. We've got one for the Nexus, Lowlands, Pet Yard, Desert, Castle, and Oryx himself. They have a band camp link where you can purchase the digital download for the soundtrack, and anytime new themes are composed and added to the soundtrack, they will automatically be added to your album at no additional cost to you. My favorite theme by far would have to be Passage for Oryx's Castle. It's beautifully eerie and intense, yet subtle. The music no longer sounds like an alien rave party, however, a lot of the original intent and instrumentation of Realm's main theme is still being well preserved in these new tracks. There's a lot of that orchestrated synth going around, ambient strings that ring out in the background, really sharp warlike drums, and a chilling piano that ties the whole thing together. They also mention that they want to include an adaptive music system, where the music will change based on certain in-game triggers, such as starting an event, entering a boss room, or just wandering around. But in addition to that, the sound effects are also having a major overhaul. In fact, they're so different, I don't even really know how to feel about it. I've been playing this game for so long with the sound effects that I know so well, it's kind of weird hearing them change it. They say that they want to improve the sound effects to match the quality of the new music, but I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary. I'm totally on board with them adding new ambient sound effects like water flowing, torches burning, and even footsteps, but I'm not sure how I feel about reworking all the sound effects in-game. I guess I've just grown so attached to them, it's kind of weird to hear them so different. Of course, unlike the music, the sound effects are an extreme work in progress, so touch-ups and refinements are definitely in the future plans. So I'm not gonna harp on that for now. Point is, the music is awesome, and that's all that matters. That's all I really wanted to bring attention to anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.